After the Boston election violence, the entire moving business of this country faced threat of looting and panning. Many business areas in Kenya were closed for fear, but it's Lee in the East Landes of Nairobi is one of the most growing business areas in the region, and still calmness and peace is exercised. This became a big question of many people in Kenya. Why is Lee is quiet and how this business go horizontal and fearless? In Sli, there are many tribes, you know, like uh, Chenwa, in, in the Somalia, Oromo, many tribes, and they are surviving. This business is generated a remittance from abroad and the refugees from Somalia who does not have a safe environment to invest their wealth and Kenya become their second home country. The big business buildings and the hawkers on the streets of Sli made this area to be called the Little Magdishu and the most people work here are the Somali communities that run away from their country because of long-term civil war and clan-based conflicts. The ordinary Somalis believe the reason behind this rent business is they are not mainly involved with the contentious politics of this country. Mostly, uh, most people who are living here they are from Somali refugees who have seen the destruction and uh, the looting that has been happening in Somalia. But at the moment, uh, the Somali Kenyans and the other Kenyans, they all want to live here peacefully. The police are doing their job, but it's the people who doesn't want to see destruction in the street. And they are all cooperating, whether they are Somali, whether they are Kenyans. Our bar. Some women and some teenagers guys who have been executed, assassinated, and then I don't think we're in a good hand of peace. No others, the people who are living the other side of uh, outside Sli, they are not coming to attack or to harm Sli. <laughs> Also, it's Lee Harbour is many other ordinary Kenyans who come here to make their living every day. What did they say about their concern of the issue? According to Rio Mambo, we have a lot of tribes, a lot of mixed tribes, and we have a lot of tribes. But if you look at the Somali, the Somali is a lot of people. Now, we have a lot of people who are doing this. We have a lot of people who are doing this. We have a lot of people who are doing this. We have a lot of people who are doing this. We have a lot of people who are doing this. But we have a lot of people who are doing this. Because we have a lot of people who are doing this. We have a lot of people who are doing this. We have a lot of people who are doing this. But we have a lot of people who are doing this. Sisi tu kutu yani na ida imani yote ni amu Kenya. Hakuna maneno ya siasa. Uko kasi ya usimina na yani inastia inaendelea vizuri. Hakuna maneno ya vita vita uko. Ata uku za pahali wangu za sawa na kabi chini tu. Hakuna kitu chazwa tani mwana uku. The street is very exceptional. You see there is a hub of business. Okay, and in most cases. There is this security always around within the street. You never miss there is a patrolling policemen within most parts of the street. So security has been beefed almost all the times within the street. This Lee is situated in Kamakunji district, where the Somali refugees not only have a business but also live as well. And because there is no elected MP in the area, the controversy of this society is not too much. Although Somali individuals were murdered in Sli at the end of January, but still there is depthful answers of relating their killings to the post-election crisis. Anyhow, the Somali immigrants living in Sli have a great experience of displacement and a can civil war. They also share the agony and the shocking moment of the country. These refugees are very concerned at the stability of this country and they worry for Kenya may become like the troubled Somalia if they don't halt the ongoing hatred and killing. They however appeal all Kenyans to avoid hostility and destroying their own country. Hussein Kofiro from Sli, Nairobi.